everybody! I'm here today with a driving lesson on moving off from traffic lights. If you are stopped at a traffic light and you are moving off from those traffic lights, AKA you're starting to accelerate from a standstill at a set of lights, this is the video for you. Now let's face it, no matter where you live and where you drive, you're gonna encounter traffic lights. You're gonna be stopped at a red light and you're gonna have to move off from that red light. So this is how you do it, okay? I'm gonna tell you what to do, then I'm gonna demonstrate. So essentially you wanna scan first, okay? Then you want to accelerate smoothly. Then you want to make sure you're gripping the wheel properly for the entire process. And also you want to glance at your mirrors after you're out of the intersection. So it's a pretty simple four step process. I'll demonstrate it right now. So let's just say, I'm gonna put the car in drive. We will make sure the uh, parking brake is off. Let's say the light just turned green. I'm gonna demonstrate it in slow motion and then I'll demonstrate it sort of at regular real time speed. So what I would do is I would glance, okay? So I would, I would scan and glance at the intersection. So you don't have to go like this, right? Like if you're looking straight, what you're gonna do is just do a quick like that. You're looking on both sides to make sure that no one's gonna run that red light, make sure there's no emergency vehicles coming. Because sometimes I've been in situations where I see an emergency vehicle um, and I know I'm gonna, I, I won't make it through the intersection like safely, you know, because they're about to hit the intersection. They don't have their siren on, they just have their lights on. So I wait for the emergency vehicle to, to, to pass so they have control of the intersection. Also, I've been in situations where I'm about to go and, and people run the red light and I literally almost got T-boned. Like, I, I didn't, but I almost did. So you're gonna just quickly scan, then you're gonna accelerate smoothly while gripping the wheel, okay? This is slow motion, I would accelerate faster than this regularly, okay? And once you're through the intersection significantly, now you're gonna check out your mirrors. So I always like to just take a look at my mirrors really quickly. Now the reason you check out your mirrors is as follows. You know, you're gonna scan your mirrors normally anyways. It's just part of driving. When you're driving forward, you're, you, ha you should be scanning your mirrors to see what's going on behind you. But when you get through an intersection, what you wanna look at is, is everything behind you still the same? Did something happen behind you? Is there a different car behind you? Is someone all of a sudden tailgating you? Is someone flying down the lane beside you? You just want to see what's happening because in an intersection, lots of things can happen. Once you're through the intersection and you're on the main road again, it's sort of like a closed off environment. But in the intersection, all sorts of cars can do all sorts of things. So this is a more real time approach, okay? We're waiting at a red light. The light turns green, okay, good to go. Just like that, okay? Done, like that. And the good thing about it is that you're not really waiting, wasting any extra time, okay? You're not really waiting for anything or wasting any extra time. Because when you're scanning, you're scanning in the time that essentially you're, you're, you're about to lift your foot off the brake. Like when the light turns green, you're not like, let's go, woo! You, know, like you don't do that, right? That's not regular driving. The light turns green and then you sort of start accelerating. So when you're in that about one second of the light turning green to the point where you're accelerating, you're just gonna scan left and right or right and left. That's it, simple. You're gonna be gripping the wheel anyways. Okay, now if you're driving a manual car, you're gonna be in first, you know, you're gonna do your scan and accelerate, second. So like, you don't have to be gripping it like this, like as if your life depended on it, but you gotta have a firm grip of the wheel because you might have to swerve in case something happens and you wanna stay, like when you go through an intersection, there's a point in the intersection where there's not gonna be any traffic lines for the lanes. So you're gonna be in between two lines, then as you drive through the intersection, there's no lines. And then you hit lines again. So by gripping the wheel firmly, you're giving yourself the best chance at staying properly in between the lines, right? Very simple. And you're giving yourself the best chance of safety because I don't want you to drive into, in, into an intersection and then just get T-boned in the middle of the intersection. You know, I want to prevent that if I can. So that's why I'm giving you these tips and these steps. That's it. That is the simple driving lesson on moving off from traffic lights. If you like this video driving lesson, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.